Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. From the chat room at live.perillo.com, which I'm hoping you'll swing by at some point in the future, a user known as Devon asks, G'day, Chris. Well, that wasn't his question. That's just how he started. <clears throat> Here's a question from Australia. What's the go with viruses on a Mac? I'm told they don't have a lot. Why? Is it possible to make an OS that doesn't allow viruses? This has been on my mind for ages. I'm like you. I'm thinking about going to Apple, but I know nothing about them. <clears throat> well, it's a fallacy to believe that any operating system can be built with the perfect amount of security. There's vulnerabilities in every operating system, Windows, Linux, Mac, or, or OS X to be specific. Uh, it just so happens that the tallest nail always gets pounded. So the reason why you hear a lot about Internet Explorer vulnerabilities and Windows vulnerabilities vicariously is because more people are using those platforms. More people use Internet Explorer than Firefox, which isn't to say that Firefox is 100% secure. Uh, it isn't by any stretch of the imagination. It's just that uh, it's if you if you want to produce results uh, to your liking, you're going to go after the biggest audience. So even if your results that would be to your liking are negative by and large, that would be sending out a virus, a worm, spyware, whatever, you want to infect the most amount of systems possible. Uh, and, and for this reason, that's why a lot of people use Windows, so you hear more pe Windows users complaining about viruses and spyware and whatnot. Uh, now, that being said, there are things, five things that you can do on any operating system, but in particular Windows, to keep your computer spyware and virus free, or relatively. I'm not going to say 100%, but doing these five things without installing a single piece of software on Windows will keep you safe and secure, for the most part. I'm never going to say 100% because, as I said before, no operating system is 100% secure. Number one, tell all the males in your house to quit surfing for porn. Okay, I know females surf for porn too, but it just so happens that more males surf for porn. In fact, my mom was upset that uh, she kept receiving spam uh, advertising women, and she was upset because uh, not because of the spam itself, but because they weren't spamming her with advertisements for male nudity. Sorry about that, mom. We'll work on that for you. But if you can tell all the males in your house, or even females, anybody in your house, don't surf for porn, that's going to help. Number two, buy CDs and rip the tracks from there. So instead of going out and trying to get music from friends and downloading things and copying things from God knows where, buy the CD. You can buy the CD online or you could buy it from the store and then rip the tracks from there. Not only do you have an actual physical backup, but you've also done the music industry a favor and not pirating music. Number three, get a Netflix or Blockbuster account instead of using BitTorrent. Now this is specifically speaking towards people who download movies and television shows and other assorted goodies from BitTorrent uh, connections, peer-to-peer -peer connections, uh, people who seed whole length movies, you know, rip from the DVD and just throw it on the internet for you to download for free. Yeah, you can do that. Free, in air quotes. It's not exactly the most legal thing you can do, but uh, when you do that, number, number one, you're opening up your computer. It's another attack vector, uh, but you're also potentially downloading something that's not really what you think you're downloading. So, number four, instead of looking for software cracks and or serials illegally, just look for coupons. If you're looking to save money, look for coupons. And sometimes, it's a case, you know, if you're looking for a shareware app and you find one, uh, you may email the shareware author and say, uh, look, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a student or I'm running low on funds this month. Do you have like some kind of coupon or discount I can use if no one else has got it for you? And you'd be surprised. Some software uh, authors will extend you that courtesy and offer you a discounted link. Doesn't always happen. And even for professional software, there are coupons available. I've mentioned plenty of times we've got coupons for U lead I think U lead products, if not U lead, then certainly we have coupons for parallels. We have coupons for all sorts of software because I have relationships with those so some software vendors. Number five, stop operating in administrator mode. 
by default, Windows, even Windows Vista to a certain degree, uh, sets you up in an elevated privileges mode. Now, Windows XP, you really have to watch out for this. Instead of running in administrator mode, run yourself in a guest mode or even in a power user mode, which is probably higher than you need to be for a lot of tasks. Only run in administrator mode when you're trying to install something or change settings. Not all software is going to adhere to those, but for the most part, running in a guest mode with guest privileges, a very lower level, uh, is going to keep you safe from installing something that you shouldn't necessarily be installing. So by doing those five things, you could be keeping yourself safe and relatively secure from things that could be happening in your computer that you may not want to have happen. Again, nothing's ever 100%, and I'm certainly not going to tell you to forego any kind of spyware or uh, antivirus or even uh, advanced firewall. Uh, I've mentioned before, if you're looking for a good firewall, by the way, for free, at least with Windows XP, I, I believe the, the product is called Komodo, and I've uh, written about it before in my personal blog at chris.perillo.com. Now, if you have any other tips for keeping people spyware free or virus free or just crap free on any computer whether they're running Linux, Windows or a Mac by all means suggest a way and specifically if you have recommendations that don't involve any software installation